Hello everyone. Welcome to the Ozark Outpost in Dixon, Missouri. This is Operation Frostbite, the July 1939 recap. Now one thing I realized too late that I forgot to do, part of the United States turn was their uh, peacetime income increase roll. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Okay, they got a seven. So that's going to bump them up to an income of 23. And uh, that will give the United States 26 to spend on their next turn. So get those corrections on here. There we go. Now everything's all squared up. Okay, back to the recap. Um, as you would probably expect for this turn, there was some action. Germany has gone on the offensive in uh, both the West and the East. Uh, they successfully uh, conquered France with uh, the capture of Paris. And they also um, have taken uh, the western half of Poland, including Warsaw. Now, since they didn't go all the way, and since uh, the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact uh, is not in effect, Great Britain has aligned well, the troops that were left in the eastern half of Poland. Um, also, in addition to France, Germany, of course, has captured uh, Belgium. Uh, Vichy France and Free France divvying up the territory. Well, looking around at the map, it looks like it was fairly even, but... Uh, Vichy, which means uh, Germany and Japan, I think came out better on the, the money end. Because, of course, the Japanese wound up with the uh, French possessions in Southeast Asia and the Pacific. So there's a couple of uh, yen worth of territories for the Japanese. And then, of course, there's a little bit of... Uh, Vichy money, not much, but a little bit. Again, a couple of uh, IPPs uh, going to Germany from uh, Vichy. So there's the situation. Uh, Germany got worn down pretty good, but they conquered France. And then over here in the east, they're in command of Poland. Their Baltic Sea Fleet is still intact. Uh, but the uh, the U-boat arm has been decimated. Right now, uh, the Germans have one Type 7 boat and one Type 2 actually at sea. They have two more Type 7s, but uh, they're bottled up in the Baltic at the moment. And I'm not sure they're going to be able to break out. They, they might. We'll just have to see. Um, the next thing that happened this round was the Soviets went on the offensive. In the Far East, the Soviet Union invaded Mongolia took the two zones here you see that are, are worth some money. Uh, they can take the rest of it if they want. I don't know that they really need to, but they can. Uh, there's nothing here. There's no units here. However, the red Mon what survives in Mongolia here now is German controlled. So uh, on Germany's next turn, uh, Mongolia will get a recruitment role. 
So they, they might be able to put a unit or two in there. We'll just have to see. In Europe over here, the Soviets just rolled right into Romania and set up shop. Uh, the R Romanian land and air forces were wiped out. Uh, all they have left is a torpedo boat destroyer there in Sea Zone 35. And the uh, Russian Black Sea Fleet is right here. Probably licking its chops. Uh, but again, you know, if they want to go on a, a suicide attack, attack to uh, avenge the motherland this uh, this torpedo boat destroyer would be German controlled uh, the Soviets didn't do anything else the next highlight of the, the turn came over here and it was Japan that provided it they made further attacks in southern China. They uh, have captured Yunnan and cut the Burma Road. So uh, now that the United States is able to lend lease, KMT can't receive any because the Burma Road's been cut. Um, yeah, so that pretty much sucks. Um, the Japanese are firmly in control of uh, coastal and southern China. Um, there's just a little bit of northern China they don't possess. That's contested, as you can see, for the moment. And, of course, you've got western China out here, but you know, there's no money out here. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I think Japan really is, uh, Japan's having a very good game. Their, uh, their all-China strategy is succeeding. Um, by keeping the war in China, they're keeping the American income down and, uh, you know, retarding their entry into the war. So, you know, you, you can't fault the way Mark is playing Japan. He's, he, he's done a flawless job thus far. Uh, as far as the Commonwealth and Italy go, there, there's nothing really going on there. I mean, as I said, the Commonwealth got a little bit of revenge with some U-boat uh, attacks, sank a couple of them, missed one, couldn't reach another. Uh, Italy isn't doing anything. They're just kind of twiddling their thumbs down there in the Mediterranean. It might, might be nice to know what's going through Mussolini's mind, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, FEC and ANZAC aren't doing anything particularly uh, noteworthy. FEC supported the Empire with a attack on a U-boat, which missed. And ANZAC is just sitting down there right now uh, being thankful that the uh, Japanese Empire is ignoring them. So let's go... Look at our charts. So here's come on, cooperate. There we go. There's the income chart. See where everybody's at now. And then over here. I'm I'm not sure about this. I know this is a carryover from version two, but I have looked in the version three rules and I cannot find anywhere where it states that you're supposed to keep the Soviet 
incomes tracked separately. I mean, this is uh, this is income derived from uh, Soviet expansion while they're still at, at peace with all the major powers. And of course, this is their regular income. As I said, I, I know you were supposed to track these separate in version two, but I can't find a single line in the version three rules that says you're supposed to break it up like that. So again, if uh, anybody can offer some insight on that, uh, I would appreciate it. Then we got our tech charts over here. There's the axis in common turn. And then down here, we have the Allies. The United States has got several things at uh, stage two, but you know, up there, you know, Germany and the Soviets have got stage three stuff. Germany's got, well, probably just as much stage two stuff, just about. So there's that. I think that will do it. Okay, Ozark Outpost. Over and out.